It's cold, it's dark, it's winter, it's November, but it's like five degrees out. We're by a thrift store. We're gonna go in there and I'm gonna explain to you how I make money, uh, thousands of dollars, buying these toys and selling them online. Let's go. So I don't know what's gonna be in here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do electronics, maybe toys, and then video games, and then anything new in box, like appliance-wise. Small, little trip, in, out. Uh, I'm not planning any big wins, but I'd love to have them. Here is where it starts in electronics. You're going to see some consoles to the left and some clock radios to the right. This is Teak, a very good brand. I will always look up this brand. It's spelled T-E-A-C. Now what I'm doing is getting the items, putting them in my cart, uh, and then I'm going to check them out. So this PlayStation right here, uh, I want to make sure it's going for enough to make money. I know for 25 bucks a Wii is probably not worth it, and for 30 bucks an Xbox is not worth it. The, the Wii, they're kind of flooded, and uh, and the Xbox is just not, it just weighs too much. It's not a, a good item to sell online. I like them, I like to collect them, but um, I just don't, I can't say you should buy them to sell them online. These Sony items, if you're ungated on Amazon, which I know a lot of you are, recently I've seen a lot of people be ungated for Sony, auto ungates, um, those are ones you want to look up. But also, keep in mind, I have noticed the prices have been going down for Sony, uh, Philips, and Samsung items. It's kind of unusual, but I guess that's what happens when the market floods. It's fine. Don't panic. Just uh, be aware. If you don't know what gating is or auto ungating or any of that stuff, I have a video I posted a few days ago. Watch that. Basically, long story short, it is permission you need to sell certain brands or categories on Amazon. I'm still going to look through all of these. Uh, today in this store, it's a blue tag sale. A lot of thrift stores, Salvation Armies, they have certain days where certain color tags or items or whatever are half off. And there are a lot of these. I think it's blue today. Uh, oh, you see that HDMI recorder, the, the DVD recorder down there? I put that back because it was broken. A lot of times, if things are broken, those get put back. And so if you see a lot of DVD recorders or high value items that are on the correct tag for that day, meaning they've sat on the shelves for a long time, and it seems kind of fishy to you or suspicious, uh, that's why they could be broken. What I do is I just test to make sure they power on, uh, or I put a DVD or a VCR, or sorry, a VHS in there. For this, for the PlayStation, I'm going to put it back. Uh, I can't test it, and I've been having issues with my PlayStation 2s I've been selling. The laser eye has not been working, so I'm going to put that back and go over to clocks. These clocks are actually a, a hidden gem. You're not going to see a lot of people talking about these because they're not as uh, exciting items, you know, they're not selling for two thousand dollars, but a lot of these clocks sell for between like 35 and 60 bucks. This calculator here, always a good pickup. I'm buying those for under two bucks no matter what. They're not going to make you a lot of money, but they're going to sell fast, and sales velocity is good. This is a not new in box, but original packaging Guitar Hero Guitar. It's for Wii. Those sell the worst, so even though it's only like six bucks, you're going to see in a second, I'm still not buying it because it's only going to go for like $35, and they're so big and bulky, it just isn't worth it. Now, if that was an Xbox One or an Xbox or whatever, a PS2 or whatever it is guitar, I would have bought it then. Uh, PlayStation's going back on the shelf. I can't test it. It's just not really worth it. These clocks, though, are pretty good. This is a daylight clock, so what it does is uh, when the alarm goes off, it brightens the room with, uh, you know, full full spectrum wavelengths, supposedly, and they go for about 70 bucks. That's the real thing for it. This small little Philips clock, it's so light. Anything that tiny always gets my attention, and anything with a big screen like this. The digits are going to display very, very big. It's, it's a, you know, it's what is that, like eight inches across and an inch and a half up. So if you have bad vision, you want to buy that clock. This Beatles mug, that's a gift. Now I'm going over to random bric-a-brac, they call it here, it's just random stuff. Sometimes you'll find some new in box uh, appliances or accessories, those always sell good. Sometimes you'll find printer ink here, right, like right there. I don't really mess with printer ink, um, this was here last week. It really is not that great. Sometimes it sells for a lot, but in my experience, stuff like this, it's just for basic, the kind of printers you see on pallets at Walmart going for like 35 bucks. That isn't the best. Maybe this Brother tape is better, but I'm going to pass on all those and go over to golf clubs. That brand right there, that logo, Taylor Made, that's one we to look out for. They are uh, a premium brand of golf clubs, at least more than like Golden Bear or whatever you see at, at Dunham's or MC Sports. I'm going to buy both of those. They're only 2 bucks here. I should get about 30 40 bucks a piece. Uh, that is also, I believe, a Taylor Made pitching wedge, but I can't find the full set here. If you have a full set of golf clubs and they're made in the last 15 years, and they're a brand like TaylorMade or Titleist or Ping or whatever, 
Uh, you should always buy that for like under 20 bucks. They're going to go for probably around 100 bucks, maybe even more, but I can't tell you without looking at it. What I can say though is those are good brands, so check out for them. As a lot of the brands get ungated to people, uh, I find myself changing what I sell. One of the things I'm selling more is more vintage video games that I charge a premium for and more DVDs. So I'm looking here for anything that is old uh, that I can make sure is complete and sell for more or any DVDs I can sell. Now for DVDs, I'm just scanning them. Uh, what I look for is box sets, documentaries, anime, the kind of stuff that is not very popular, but popular enough to have its own website or sub-community or culture, whatever you want to call it. This NFL hits uh, video game, just a personal buy, nothing special. And then this iZone Polaroid camera, I bought one new actually, like two weeks ago. That one goes for 75 this one goes for about 30 Now over to the toys. I'm looking for anything new in box, anything big, like a big Hulk toy maybe, nothing small or broken. The issue with toys is oftentimes they have a lot of parts and you, can, you can't sell them incomplete on Amazon. It just doesn't work that way. You can do it on eBay, but the way I sell things, only complete. That B hoofer, uh, I can't sell anymore. I could sell a year ago, but I can't anymore. Sometimes even experienced, advanced, seasoned veterans like myself uh, get kicked out of brands. It's totally normal. It sucks, but it's normal. Don't panic about it. Uh, anyways, I can't buy that. They were selling for like 40 bucks, but on eBay, it's just not worth my time. Uh, proud new flags. I'm going to look that book up, see if it's rare. It probably isn't. I normally don't sell shoes, but I think I found a pair of shoes I might buy. These go for about 45 bucks. Uh, you know, they, they want, what is that, $10 for it? There is money there. If I sold an eBay, I'd buy these, but I don't really. Uh, I'll let someone else have that profit, and I'm going to get out of here with, well, you'll see what I have. Okay, quick roundup of the video. One, two, three, four uh, bedside clocks, Sony Dream Machine, Timex Indiglo, Philips HFP 3500, I think, or just HF, and then a tiny little Philips clock right here. Now, what I'm thinking with these is, is they're all kind of niche items. You always want to look up the niche items. Either it's very small or very bright or very big or just kind of weird looking. Here are the tailor-made golf clubs. I got two of them. That is the brand. Remember that brand. This is a driver outline, tailor-made. Uh, and then this club specifically has little weights in the back. It helps to change the ball flight without having to change your swing or at least without any conscious uh, changing of the swing. And then finally, a little Scrabble Flash handheld game. Little handheld games or little small, you know, fit in your hand size games are almost always a good buy if they're well-known brands and if they are discontinued or out of production. And then this iZone clock, it's got a radio on it. I'll test that for functionality. I am not gonna see if it takes pictures, so I guess I'm rolling the dice there, but I have not had a lot of bad luck with these. Usually, if it works in some regard, it works in totality. That was the video, guys. You can see tons of pallets all around here. I'm getting heavy into pallets now, but I'm still doing thrift store content because I think that's the best way to learn. See you guys later, and I cannot stress this enough. Don't, under any circumstances, be a shithead.